Stan Hildebrand. I live at Sand Hill Farm. I've been here for 30 years. Sand Hill was started in 1974, and we've been, we're mostly an agricultural community. We always grow our own food, but we're always looking for uh, a way to earn money through agriculture. And early on in 1976, we came across uh, making sorghum syrup. And so we've been making sorghum since 1976 as our main money, our main cash crop. It is an old time sweetener that was uh, grown all through the Midwest 100 years ago and it was probably the, the most common sugar for most farm families up until about 60, 70 years ago. Now in this uh, video we will we'll show you how exactly we make sorghum right from the very beginning until the end, going through the whole process of the, of the cooking process and harvesting it and uh, making it into a thick syrup to, uh, to sell. When we come out for harvest, a group of people go out in the mornings and we just move through the fields and in the morning time what we do is we strip the cane and that's just removing the leaves and the seed heads from it. So, so we'll all just be in our different rows and you can just remove the, the leaves this way. Really small stalks we just stomp down. Um, and it's fun, a whole group of people will be out and it's a good way to just get to know people and have conversations with those that are around you. And these are pretty short stalks, so it's really easy to pop the tops off. Sometimes they'll be like much taller than this, but you have, you bend the canes over and just break the tops off. And then, and then they spend the rest of the morning, you have a field full of stripped cane like this. And, and then as the sun is out, more of the, um, the juices come up and the starches start turning to sugars. And then we come out in the afternoon and we machete down what we stripped in the morning. So we bring the cane back from the fields on the wagon and a couple of us load it into our sorghum press. Uh, the press has big rollers inside of it that squeeze the juice out and we send the juice down to our other building which we call the sugar shack where we're going to cook it down. Um, the, the leftovers, the cane that's, that's been squeezed are called pummies and they run up a conveyor and, and we save them and use them as mulch in our gardens and around our farm. What happens here is we have two things have two things coming into the building. We have juice coming in uh, from up up on top where it's being squeezed, where the cane is being squeezed. The juice comes in on that line back there into the first pan. This is a three pan cooking setup. So is this a, the juice comes into this pan at that end, and as soon as it boils. The skimmings, the green stuff at the end, goes off at the end, and that's the bitter stuff. In sorghum, that's what you want to get rid of to make a good quality product. So the juice comes in through here, goes into this pan first, gets boiled down, then it gets transferred to this pan through pipes underneath, and we take more skimmings off. Then the juice, now it's getting thicker and thicker. Now the juice goes into this pan, and it goes all the way down to the end, comes back, and over here is the finished product. So, goes down in here, runs through a stainless steel screen to screen out any particles that uh, impurities, and then it goes down to the bottom and we pump it up across into a cooler, which is just a coil, stainless steel coil in water, so that the, uh, the uh, sorghum, the syrup, is cooled off. We're taking it off at 230 degrees, and if you just put it in a barrel at that temperature, it just keeps on cooking itself, and it gets darker, and it gets a, a, a kind of a harsh flavor. Now, Sugar Shack is also, we call it Sugar Shack because we do other sweeteners here as well. We make maple syrup, mostly for our own use, and then we do honey, uh, all in the same building with a centrifuge 
and uh, we do that at different times of the year. The maple is in the spring, the honey is in the late summer, and then the sorghum is in the fall. So we have a steady progression of sweeteners coming through the building. 